Golden State Warriors trying to keep their season alive at Oracle tonight. 24 minutes in the books in Game 5 of the Western Conference Finals. And with Steph Curry scoring 11, Clay Thompson 16, Golden State has the lead by 8 over Oklahoma City. 58 to 50. It is the American Express Halftime Report live here from Oracle. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. Rebounding, dead even at 24. Assist, Golden State with 16. They only had 15 in game four. Turnovers, nine for Oklahoma City, seven for Golden State. Eight-point lead. Charles, big picture thoughts on game five. I think you got to feel pretty good if you're Oklahoma City. Uh, they didn't come out and just get a game away. It's only an eight-point game. Uh, you would always wonder in situations of a team like they're worried about, hey, you know what, we just got to win game six. A very impressed. Oklahoma City was very professional. Golden State is doing what they have to do. They have to win. But I was very happy with Oklahoma City's first half. 51% shooting for Golden State and better energy, obviously, from the start. As expected, do a die situation. The TNT moniker kicks in tonight. Win or go home. Came out with a great energy right here, the first play. Ball movement. They talked about this all series. Not having the quick shot, but having a great ball movement right there leads to a three point shot. Right here, Draymond Green being Draymond Green. Good defense. Talking a little smack right here, igniting this break. Steph Curry. Lucky shot. Great shot. Steph Curry. He makes those shots. Right here, even the others kicking in, Ernie, right there, boom. Mo buckets, three out of five, nine points. Bo get five out of six, ten points. Others are kicking in. They're doing what they're supposed to do, but I agree with Chuck. OKC okay, has done a professional job, fabulous job. And you know, when you're in a game like this, you just want to keep it close, Chuck. Just, just want to keep it close. Because the team is in a situation where this season's over. They're going to feel the pressure down the stretch. You know, when that shot, 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 the clock starts shrinking. But right now, they got to feel pretty good. Durant's got 15. Westbrook has 13 on four of 14 shooting. How about the contribution out of nowhere from Anthony Morrow, who comes on with some big buckets, has seven points in the first half. What grabbed your attention? Well, spacing. I think the one thing that you can't cannot do is. Uh, lose spacing or lose people so you freeze it here because if you're Golden State Warriors you you don't have the size you have to know where Adams is at all times and you have to keep bodies on him as if break aggresses he's just carving his way out and carving space and once he does that he's overpowered Steph Curry and now <laughs> he is a man inside oh. and will finish it Whoa. above all SLD without shock like dunk and then again freeze it here if you're bogey you cannot have this much space and have him connect not connected so then as the play goes on he finds out and he calls space again and he's too big and too gifted and too skilled to give that thing but on the other end you have to find Steph Curry freezing if you're Deion Waiters you are not running back to Harrison Barnes you have to find Steph Curry in transition and when you find him you have to stay with him if not this will go to game six because when you don't find Steph and you don't stay with him in transition he not only stays on the three-point line but he gets to the rim stay with with Steph and stay with Adams. Whoever does that the best to me will be the sixth game five winner. Gaze into the crystal ball in the second half and tell me what you see. Well, I see OKC saying, you know what? We're only down by eight. We didn't play great. Let's stick it up. Russell Westbrook on the road is averaging 21.5 at home. He's averaging 33. If he can get close to that 30 range, and I know he's not really shooting a good percentage right now, but if he can get good to that 30 range, the way they're playing right now, I see OKC winning. So what are you telling him if you're Billy Donovan? Let's finish this thing. They they have to win. They got but a we, chance now. Yeah. Well, so we we in the game. The crowd's into the game. They played pretty well. We didn't play great. We're right where we want to be. They have to win. We want to win. And if you're Steve Kerr, eight plus eight equals sixteen. So if we play the way we did in the first half, this is a blowout. So we could stay in the course, and we have play it just like it's golf. Play the course. Don't play the opponent. Do what you do best. Oklahoma City, 24 minutes away from going to the NBA Finals if they can come from behind. Golden State trying to make plans for OKC in Game 6. Welcome to the American Express Halftime Report. Live from the Western Conference Finals. American Express, the official credit card of the NBA. American Express teammates. Leading scorer in this game is Clay Thompson, who's got 16. Six out of 13 shooting and one out of five from deep. Got the lay in there. 
and our teammates. We've been looking at this as the series has gone along. Westbrook and Durant versus Curry and Thompson. Game three, it was 53 to 42. Game four, 62 to 45 in favor of Durant and Westbrook. And here in the now, first half, it's 28 27. It's not going to be points. It's turnovers and rebounds. And uh, also assists. You know, I, I think that those two guys have to be better at keeping the basketball. They have been in Curry and Thompson, and look what happens tonight. Durant, Westbrook, not as good and efficient. They're down. 58 to 50 is the halftime score. 24 minutes to go in game five. Here from Oracle in the beautiful Bay Area. That's, that's a good half. That's a really good half. You got to put together another one. Same idea. Make them work. Make them work. Keep the ball moving. Keep your intensity on the on the glass and defensively. All right. Great half, but we got to do it one more time. Let's go. Three of the last four games that we've played, they have started off the third quarter a lot better than we have had. Okay, let's make sure we jump out of this locker room right now, ready to go. It's our ball to start the third quarter, and let's get off to a good start right now. All right, here yes, we go. Sir. You've been watching the American Express Halftime Report, live from the Western Conference Finals. American Express, the official credit card of the NBA.